here to celebrate Sarah Schradel and Drew Miller as they honor their commitment and love. Sarah and Drew are thrilled that you are here to share in their joy during this wonderful moment in their lives. By your presence, you celebrate with them the love they continue to discover in each other. The first time that Sarah and Drew kissed after that fireball shot in New York City, Drew knew that Sarah was the one he would marry. And he knew that today was their future, that a lifetime was in store for them. Sarah and Drew, by coming here today, do you agree to accept this responsibility and to join together through the ceremony of marriage? If so, answer, I agree. I agree. I agree. fated to become best friends. I walked up to her and I said, hi, I'm Kendra. I don't know you. Yeah, it's a classic line. And the rest was history. Evening falls, giving you a summer field to lay We exchanged phone numbers and I called her and texted her again and again forcing my love upon her and inviting her over to my house. <laughs> and then one day, she decided to just move in. As part of this speech, I'm supposed to sing Drew's praises and tell y'all about his good traits. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't sing and I won't lie. <laughs> After college, Drew moved away to Connecticut for pharmacy school and I was happy to hear from him one day when he told me he was dating a girl named Sarah. One of the first times I met Sarah was on New Year's Eve. It was undeniable from the start that Drew was smitten with Sarah and I hoped that he would be able to keep her around. Anyone who knows Sarah would agree that she's one of the kindest people you'll ever meet and that she deserves a good husband. Well, thank God Drew married her before she found one. <laughs> When she was in college classes, she was also playing volleyball nonstop. Sarah knew volleyball was her ticket to get out of town and to get college paid for. And through years of hard work, she went to Central Connecticut State University to play Division I volleyball on a full-ride scholarship. Relationships are hard and require love, commitment, trust, and honesty. It is hard work. However, the rewards are immense and worth all of that work. You are ready for the next step, and I think everyone here today is ready to support you both. I'm Woody Miller. I'm Drew's dad. All right, suck it up, let's go, okay. So Drew. Dad. You've always been a, you've always been a fun-loving soul, quick to laugh, make a face during a photo op, always lighting up a room. I shouldn't write this stuff down. <laughs> When Sarah was a senior in high school, and she was trying to decide where to go to college, believe it or not, she set up a spreadsheet. And she had pluses and minuses of the school she wanted to go to. Well, a couple months later, fast forward, she gets a recruiting trip to Central Connecticut. On Sunday, I picked her up, and we were coming back. And I can almost remember where we were on the road. She said, then when I found the right place, I would know it. And she said, that's where I'm going to go. As luck would have it, 
at pharmacy school, she met Drew. Five, six months later, I got a chance to meet Drew. And when I met Drew, it became obvious to me that when something was right, you know it. You could just see in her eyes how happy she was. I could read her that she was just happy. Her and Drew really belonged together. Sarah has added the missing piece to your puzzle. This is the missing piece to my puzzle. <laughs> Renee and I knew immediately when Drew had first started talking about Sarah that she was somebody special. Our feelings were confirmed the first time we got to meet her. When we picked him up at the airport, the look on Drew's face was one we'd waited for a long time to see. <laughs> it was clear that he adored her. Man, I'm tearing up. Oh. <laughs> All right. Sarah, sitting across from you today uh, doesn't make me nervous or give me the jitters because there's no doubt in my mind this is where I want to be. Over and under, covered in light. Every day I get to share my life with an amazingly gifted, intelligent, stunningly beautiful woman. Your positive energy and drive to succeed makes me a better man every single day. Our love story reminds me that magic exists. We met when I was 22, and for a while we were just friends with a spark of a little bit more. I will always remember that enchanted night in New York City when you finally worked up the courage to kiss me after just a few fireball shots, when everything changed. Something perfect was around like a child. Oh, and all that you are, you are good for my heart. Something rare, something strong stands against all the from that moment, there has been no question that you belong with me. When we started dating, my life became extraordinary. You taught me to be my best self, to be fearless, and to look forward to tomorrow's adventure. All throughout college, she somehow found the time to work as a pharmacy tech. As I was in my green Panera Bread bakery apron, getting flour caught in my hair, Sarah was building herself a career. A career as a professional drug dealer. <laughs> And that's something I've always admired about Sarah. She knows what she wants, and she goes all in to make it happen. And there's another person who goes after what they want in life and goes after it with full speed, and that's Drew. Drew spent years trying to win over Sarah. <laughs> Drew did his homework. He became Sarah's friend and was at every party and get-together that Sarah was at. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and even teacher. For you have learned much from one another in these last few years. Now you shall say a few words that take you across the threshold of life, and things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, and this is my wife. I need 
need to know about life I learned from my dog. When loved ones come home, always run to greet them. Run, romp, and play daily. Be loyal. When someone is having a bad day, be silent, sit close by, and nuzzle them gently. Avoid biting when a simple growl will do. <laughs> when you're excited, speak up. When you're happy, dance around and wag your entire body. <laughs> Delight in the simple joy of a long walk. If you stare at someone long enough, eventually you'll get what you want. And if it's not wet and sloppy, it's not a real kiss. <laughs> Over the past five and a half years, you've shown me the spontaneous side of life, and you're the last person I want to see every night before I close my eyes. You survived a Minnesota winter for me, even if it was one of the weak ones. <laughs> it's still admirable. <laughs> You've supported me unconditionally through two challenging years of residency and a few cross-country moves to let me follow my dreams. And we built a beautiful life that is simply just ours. They say home is where the heart is and mine is with you. I know that loving you is a full-time job, but I've been practicing for years and I'm up for the challenge. I promise to continue to support you and you being your best self, to follow you through life's ups and downs and to always laugh with and sometimes at you. <laughs> I promise to be your friend and your partner in crime and in life, and I promise to always encourage you to follow your wildest dreams. I vow to support you and love you in sickness and in health. I vow to be at your side to experience all of the adventures and challenges life has in store for us. To quote the greatest songwriter of our generation, <laughs> you are the best thing that has ever been mine. I vow to be yours always and forever. Finally, I promise to listen to all the Taylor Swift songs, <laughs> share a few frescas, and uh, bring you all the cinnamon rolls you'll ever need. I love you, and I cannot wait for forever. <laughs>